All right, it's a new school year, and my plan is to release videos regularly, weekly, with things that I'm doing in my classes, um, review topics for my students, and all kinds of things. So for the second video this year, I thought I would do a little review of what's new in Packet Tracer. Packet Tracer just came out with version 7.2.2. As you can see, in version 7.2, we got a new interface, which is pretty slick looking. And there's a ton of new devices and protocols and applications that you can use. I thought I'd cover some of the new stuff. First of all, the new interface design. You've got the integrated services router for 4321 here. You've got an 819 router with IOX an 829 router, and a CGR1240 router. The IE2000 switch, which was introduced a couple of iterations ago, kind of an industrial switch. New for this uh, version of Packet Tracer, you have the ASA Firewall 5506X. You've got a Meraki security appliance. You have a Meraki server, a wireless LAN controller. Some of these items were not new to version 7.2.2, but still I wanted to highlight them because they are pretty cool and they're very recent. You have a microcontroller, and this is a simulation, let's say, of like an Arduino device, and an SBC here, this is a single board computer, which would be kind of like in a simulation of maybe like a Raspberry Pi or something like that. This is for your IoT projects that you can simulate. There's also an IoT thing that you can configure to be whatever you want. Along with that, you have actuators like motors and LEDs, and then sensors like a motion sensor or a humidity sensor. Now, protocol-wise, there are sample files that show you that you can now play with Bluetooth, uh, 802.1x. There's more stuff capable for NTP, PPP over Ethernet, you can do apps, VMs. There's ability to do a, a limited, in a limited way, a quality of service, QoS, on the Cisco devices. REP and the MQTT protocol, which is pretty hip. Now, of course, we still have the PC and the server, but let's look at what's inside the PC and the server now. So if I open up the PC, you can see that we'll just kind of drill down here some of these applications you may have seen before. A couple of things that are cool with the text editor you can file import files right into the text editor which is pretty neat. And then if you'll notice also there's this programming tab here. You can actually write your own programs. If I click new here you can see that you can create your own scripts in JavaScript, Python, or Visual which is like Blockly. There's also sample scripts here that you can work from. Now this is pretty advanced stuff and I have not played with it that much, but it's, it's pretty good. If, you're, uh, if you like to program or script, then this is a pretty neat capability. Then you've got the firewall tools. Look at this, this is IOX IDE. You've got a proper Telnet SSH client so that you're not SSHing from the command prompt because if this is a PC, we'd probably need some type of SSH client like PuTTY or something like that. So you have a separate client for that. Bluetooth capability, and then these IO, IoT monitor, IoT IDE, and the user apps manager. If I click on that user apps manager, you say, well, what's installed? If you go under available, you see here there's an MQTT broker and client which you can install. Pretty cool. All right, then under the server, if we look under the hood, on the server, here's the server. We'll go to services, IoT tab, VM management, and radius EAP. That's kind of new. Um, then under desktop here, I was just perusing to see kind of what's new to play with here. You've got, once again, these IoT and IOX IDE. And then let's see here, there was something here. Ah, triple A accounting. So a TACAX plus accounting um, server and a radius accounting. So that's kind of an interesting um, addition to the server. You've also got this programming tab where you can write your own scripts and programs. 
Anyway, lots of new capabilities with Packet Tracer. So in my next video, I'm going to um, just go over the basics for my new students that are new to Packet Tracer on how to just get started, uh, use this new interface, and start simulating networks. Oh, most importantly, Packet Tracer typically is not freely available if you're not in the Cisco Academy, but you can go to netacad.com forward slash courses forward slash packet dash tracer right from uh, basically cisco.com you can link to here if you go to the Cisco Networking Academy and then it shows you how to download packet tracer basically you need to self enroll in a one of Cisco Academy's self enroll courses and then you can download packet tracer for free so that's pretty cool a self enroll course just teaches you the basics of packet tracer and it's pretty uh, it's pretty easy so anyone can have packet tracer if you go to netacad.com and go straight to this course, it's like a Packet Tracer 101 course. All right, thanks a lot.